what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome back jake wants to be a millionaire i hope everybody had a splendid weekend friday we celebrated the four year anniversary of the series because saturday the series turned four years old so yeah i had four games of the australian game boy advanced version of millionaire on friday's episode because that is the first version of millionaire that i played in the series and out of those four games, I won a grand total of $190,000. That was added to my overall total, and that brought it up to $62,333,442. All right, so now that the series is officially four years old, we can move on and try to win a million pounds. So let's try to do that. And also, I played 80% of a week on Friday's episode, which is absolutely crazy. Anyways, here's the first question of the week for 100 pounds. Which of these is a branch of the British Armed Forces? RAF. Okay, that's 100 pounds. Here we go for 200. What is the name of the dolphin in the famous TV series? Flipper. Okay, that's 200 pounds. Here we go for 300. What does the T stand for in the trade union nut? Teachers. Okay, 300 pounds. Here we go. For 500, which of the following is not a Teletubby? Hanky Panky, right? Lala is, Poe is, and Dipsy is, so Hanky Panky. The other one is uh, Tinky, Tinky Winky? Okay, that is 500 pounds. Here we go for 1,000. The first guaranteed level of the game. What is the name of the of Postman Pat's black and white cat? Jess? I think. There we go. Thousand pounds guaranteed. Very, very nice. Okay. So we're 10 questions away from 1 million pounds of so all three lifelines. We are in good shape. All right. I'm ready to move on to the 2,000 pound question. So let's see what it is. Shall we? Never tickle a sleeping dragon is the motto of which fictional school? Hogwarts? That's the only one of these four that I've heard of. Um, I'm not sure. I will ask the audience. I was thinking about using 50-50, but I have no reason to really believe that it is Hogwarts. Wow, it's Hogwarts. That's amazing. Oh, man, I would have preferred to have saved the audience. I should have used a 50-50, I guess. I wasn't really sure about that, though. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, at least I know that now. It's a waste of a lifeline right there. And now I'll probably use the 50-50 and then get the question wrong, because that's always the way. All right, that's 2,000 pounds. Here we go for 4,000. Still have two lifelines. Whose fictitious address was 23 railways cutting to East Chem? Tony Hancock. I'm guessing obviously okay good very very good it makes up for blowing uh blowing that lifeline on the two thousand pound question so we got four thousand pounds we're going for eight thousand let's see what this question is so two lifelines here we go to which anim animals does the adjective loop and relate I, I i don't know i have no clue this is definitely the right question to phone a friend because even with the, even if I use the 50 50 I would still be guessing so yeah we're gonna phone a friend and the phone a friend is going to hopefully help me out wolves okay that is my final answer and perfect thank you phone a friend okay so that wasn't a waste because I clearly like I I, I actually did not know that so that's 8,000 pounds. We sold it 50-50. Now we're going for 16,000. So let's see what this question is. Here we go. Question number nine for 16,000 pounds. 
which the following is not a Disney character. That's a very interesting question. I'm pretty sure it's Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny was a Bugs Bunny is a Looney Tune. That's not Disney, right? Yeah, Pluto, Pluto, Donald Duck, and Mickey Mouse, they're all Disney characters, so it's Bugs Bunny. I have not had this question before, but I was pretty sure about that one. Very nice! Okay, good. 16,000 pounds. You know what that means? That means that if I don't know this next one, I'll use a 50-50 and then I'll probably walk. Because I don't want to start the week off with, you know, getting the 32,000 pound question wrong after using the 50-50. That happened once on Friday's episode, and I, you know... I, don't, I just, I, I really don't like that. So here we go, 32,000 pound question. Oh my gosh. Okay, am I crazy and actually thinking that I might know this without the 50-50? What is formed in the process of, of ossification? Rock, bone, fossil, vapor. I think it's bone, and you know what? I'm just gonna go with that before I change my mind. B, bone. Final answer, here we go. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yes, woo, there we go. 32,000 pounds, guaranteed, very, very good. We still have the 50-50, we're in good shape here. We're five away from the million. All right, very, very good. Is this the first time I've made it, I've made it past the first 10 questions and still had a lifeline left? I think it might be, I'm not sure. Like in this version. Going for 64,000 pounds. What is the name given to the... <laughs> yes! Yes! I know this! I know this! What name is given to the spring term at Oxford University? I was hoping that this was going to be the case because now I have a bit of a strategy. Alright? I know this because I had this question very recently. Uh, last week, I think. And uh, it's actually coincidental that I'm getting it again. I said Rex, but it's not Rex. It is Hillary. What is the name given to the spring term at, at Oxford University? It is Hillary, I'm pretty sure. I still have the 50-50, so I'm going to say C, Hillary. Final answer. Let's make it happen. Awesome. Okay, that's excellent. 64,000 pounds. I still have the 50-50, which I'm really surprised at. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. We're four away from the million. I'm, there's a like incredibly strong chance I won't know the answer to this next question. I'm going to use a 50-50 and then take a shot. Here we go. 125,000 pound question. Which of these drinks is distilled from the agave plant? Tequila, Calvados, Sake, Sambuca. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a 50-50 and I'm going to take a shot. Now, <laughs> my get, when, I do the, when, I, when I do this... My like I always choose the wrong one. That's the way it feels. I really hope I'm I really hope I'm gonna choose the right one. I'm gonna go ahead and say tequila. Final answer! Let's do it! Yes! Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh, I actually picked the right one, and that is a new record for this version. 125,000 pounds. I have never won this much money in this version of Millionaire. That is fantastic. We're now three questions away from the million. We are going for 250,000 pounds. Here we go. Question 13. Which fashion label was introduced into Marks and Spencer stores in autumn 2001? In the fall of 2001. Wow, I was three years old. I'm not going to remember this. Per una, por do, dove, do? Uh, that, that's a U, not a V. Por do, parati or prima donna? Well, the last question I had a 50% chance of getting it right. On this question, I have a 25% chance of getting it right, and I'm risking more. So you know what? I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to walk away. I guessed at this level uh, once on Friday's episode, and, well, I lost a lot of money. Lost $93,000, and that's what I'd be losing on this question. If I got it wrong, I'd be losing 93,000 pounds. So... That's an amazing way to start the week. Seriously, 125,000 pounds. That's fantastic. That's Like I said, that's the most I, I have won in this version now. That's my record, which is awesome. So I'm definitely making progress in this version. It's very, very, very exciting. So, 
125,000 pounds. That is fantastic. That is converted to $125,000, and that brings my overall total to $62,458,442. So that's it for today, guys. Great way to start the week. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.